Hola, Taurus. Yes, Taurus Sun, Aquarius Moons. This is the 2018 Sun Moon reading. Now, how this works is when you view it is when you were meant to see it, whether it be a blip in time or a longer period of time. Please have patience regarding these readings. I'm doing 144 readings in the order of most requested in the comments. Please check beforehand in my playlist to make sure I haven't already done your request before you request it. Um, okay, the first portion of this reading is going to be a definition of your sun mood reading. It's a textbook defini definition, meaning it's not my interpretation. It has come from text. Then I'll be laying out the main cards in their positions, stating what each of the cards is, after which time I will end the video. At that point, you can go ahead and look into the interpretation of the cards yourself, or you may click on the link below and join me in video in Vimeo. Purchase, <laughs> purchase the second portion in Vimeo, um, where I will have my interpretation of the main cards, and then I will also put down clarifiers, equaling about a 20-plus minute video. Keep in mind, one of the things I am on available on Instant Go, so if you download the app, just look for Veronica Garnett, search Veronica Garnett. I'm doing text only, no video calls, no phone calls. My lifestyle currently does not allow for it. So I will be reading the text with the definition of your sun moon sign to get your energies into the cards, and then I'll lay the cards out. So sun and Taurus, moon and Aquarius. The combination of Taurus sun and Aquarius moon signs produces an affable personality in an easy, friendly manner that makes it easy for you to meet and deal with strangers. You know instinctively how to get along with people. This conceals a core of hard purpose and solid convictions. Your charming manner and pleasant demeanor draws others to you like a magnet, and you can achieve your ends with diplomacy and friendly persuasion. You are likewise a very tolerant person, always very interested in them, albeit in a rather detached way. Sometimes you are even too quick to trust the untrustworthy because you are so prone to have an initial sense of faith in others. Few can live up to your code of treating other people as you would like to have them treat you. Your major motivating power or personal drive stems from your deep feelings. You can feel deeply about things, yet because of an impersonal quality in your external personality, you, seldom, you are seldom likely to go overboard because of emotional pressures. You know how to control and wisely direct your feelings, making them work for you in human relationships. You have an excellent, very studious mind, curious and inventive. You have an innate ability to work well with colors and forms and may have a good deal of artistic talent. You do not ask for much in a material sense, and thus you may not achieve a great deal in this regard. Strangely, inertia can be your only enemy. You possess a good deal of self-esteem that will aid you in attaining, attaining much in life. Though shrewd in business, your honor never deserts you. Your friendliness and ability to put people at ease can prove your greatest asset for success and attainment. Adaptability and originality moderate everything that you approach. You have a hard time making firm emotional ties with others. You try to stay neutral and objective about everything all the time so you can have a front of being different than others. You're never considered as self-important because you're kind, generous, and thoughtful to others. You might feel that you have a special purpose in life like other Taurus Aquarians do. You look almost like a visionary or prophet and seem to have a special soul. This look is in addition to your Taurus look of the strong, determined, and sensual type. You do not merely dream of doing things, you do them. You know yourself well because of self-contemplation, so you, you are able to communicate well with others. It's a situation of the proverbial know thyself that was made famous by Socrates and others. Psychology, sociology, and politics are just a few of the many areas where your solid knowledge of your own essence can be applied. Social scientists, as well as members of the scientific community at large, have individuals of this combination. You generally work inside the system because you are, in reality, a mainstream person at heart, even though you see yourself as a maverick. For the most part, this kind of pragmatic decision, because it, part of this is a pragmatic decision because it works as a rule. Before undertaking a project of any kind, you have a tendency to do things like take care of monetary resources because you are ever security conscious like most Taurus people. A gift or legacy to the human race is actually something many Taurus Aquarius 
people worry about and hope to accomplish. Examples of this going badly are Nicola Lennon and Machiavelli. You are very flexible and accepting of your romantic partner in spite of being a bit possessive. You're inventive and imaginative in your love life as with life in general. You tend to have a large sense of your own importance because both your signs are fixed and this means you are determined and confident. When things do not go as you planned, you can become temperamental and difficult because of your fixed sign aspect. Angry explosions are possible and often irregular and uncalled for, even though you put toward this appearance of being in command most of the time. Okay, so let's get to your card spread. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine God's Universe, can you please provide your truth, your clarity, your wisdom, and your insight in regards to Taurus Sun? Aquarius Moons for 2018. Can you show us what surrounds them at this present time? What they left in 2018? What's something they can expect in 2000? What left them in 2017? What they can expect in 2018? What they should focus their energies on in 2018? And what will their general overall outcome be for 2018? Please grant me the objectivity to read these cards as they're intended to be read and say your messages as you intend them to be said for those with Sun and Taurus, Moon and Aquarius. One more shuffle. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Can you please show us what is surrounding Taurus, Sun, Aquarius, Moons at this present time? The Page of Cups in reverse. Can you show us what Taurus, Sun, Aquarius, Moons left in 2017? The Seven of Swords in reverse. Can you show us what is coming in the new year for them? We have the Six of wands in the upright for something that you can expect in the in 2017 your focus on your energy should be the king of wands in the upright and then finally your general outcome overall energies for 2018 are the three of wands in the upright okay so for the those of you who would like to hear about some theft, some dishonesty, or a thief, or some dishonesty that you left in 2018, and ending in victory in 2000, left in 2017, moving forward in victory in 2018, and into your power. Click the link below, and join me in Vimeo for the second portion. Otherwise, I.